couldn't be better, Olsen. Evening, James. Evening, Frank. <laughs> Isn't my paint the most splendid? <laughs> Victor just got a James! What on earth is all that? Oh, uh, hey there, Skipper Stu. Uh, what do you mean exactly? <gasps> is there a scratch on my paintwork? Those decorations! Those unsuitable things you call decorations! Why do you look so ridiculous? Ah, Skipper Stu, pleasure to see you. I see you've noticed our starring attraction for this year's Pinewood Island Halloween Parade. We just got him done at the Colville Works. Oh, doesn't he look amazing? Don't forget that I'm coming too. The parade needs someone to look after the young chuggers for their first year. Uh, you mean engines, right, Alwyn? Well, we've all got our own ways of referring to ourselves. Well, the matter at hand is I don't think we need full-on decorations for parades and such. A float, I can understand. A decorated wagon, possibly. But an entire engine? Think of the resources and time spent on dressing an engine for just one night! Couldn't you say the exact same thing about the other options? True, true, but it'd be a little more respectable for the average engine. I mean, look at you! You look like something out of the resort's gift shop! Did I see you last Christmas brightly decorated? <laughs> You had so many lights, people kept mistaking you for the holiday train. Oh, I, uh, um, uh, well, uh, you see, Owen, uh, it was a bet. Oh, you big joker. I'd hate to intrude, but could you stop chattering and get secured, please? I'd like to get you all to Pinewood Island in time for the party. And you certainly wouldn't want to miss a party, would you, lads? Uh, uh, no, of course not. <clears throat> You may proceed, Olsen. I swear it was a bet. <laughs> That's not what Salty told me. steam train If you just lay down your tracks Hey, you PC, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty well, DJ. I'm hoping to get my work done as soon as I can so I have time to get ready to see the new action chugger movie. Oh, you mean Golden Window? Yep! I'm going to see it tonight at the chugging. Or is it the or is it the chuffin? The, the chugging ch chuff? The, 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 the outdoor theater! Oh yeah, we saw that movie last night, didn't we, TJ? Yeah, you're gonna love it. Well, please don't give anything away. I've been trying to avoid spoilers all week. Well, it's an awesome movie. There's this bit where he goes into space and- Stop! This is a spoiler-free zone! Well, you at least want to know about the cameos? Flying Scotsman turns up at one point and- Thanks, but- no thanks, I'd rather see it for myself. And then he gets out this giant sword and- Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! And there's this bit where- La 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 I'm not listening! La 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 la! Okay, okay, we'll stop now. You promise? Yep. Phew. Oh, and at the end he wins a big game against the alien, saves all the cartoon characters, and decides to retire from baseball to restart his basketball career. No! Wait, isn't that just the ending to Space Jam? Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you oh, see we're look just your messing face. with you, Pacey. You know I would never do that to you. I'm just not that type of engine. Yeah, and you know I would never do that to you because I don't want to know what the Fat Controller would do to me in return. He's still holding my favorite video game hostage. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just glad I'm mostly still in the dark about this movie. Well, we still gotta deliver these tankers. Later, Pacey. Yeah, bye, Percy. Oh, and don't forget to buy my audiobook. You mean the one that's just 20 minutes of you going through your made-up words? Hey, Count Longardo's Drunk Batty and Jerk Shinary Foam My Own Words is gonna win an award at some point. I just know it. 
It also helps that I have the chief bribing the committee. Bye! Goodbye! Huh, good. Only another two hours and I'll make my way to the theater. I can't wait to see Golden Window. Oh, that's a great movie. Especially the part at the end where Action Juggle finds out his father is still alive. Thomas and Tracy enjoy helping out at the Bluesburg Steelworks. They love visiting their friends Phoebe and Ralph and giving them much needed help. Ralph has constantly kept busy running the manager about and shifting ladle cars into place while Phoebe takes on long journeys to Bluesburg West Junction and beyond. But the yard had many orders to fill for the next few weeks and even the extra two engines weren't enough to keep things running. That was when Diesel, Aerie, and Bert came in. Diesel was in charge of the docks at Gradinia Bay, while Aerie and Bert had been brought in from the Sodor Ironworks for a period. Together, the engines had a known reputation for pranks and mischief making around other engines. They arrived one busy morning. Thomas and Tracy were arranging a freight train for Big Tim to bring out when they oiled into the main yard. Hello, Puffball, said Airy. So the big old steelworks can handle with a teapot on rails. Figured they'd send for some modern diesels to help with the extra workload. You'd be modern 70 years ago, quipped Ralph. Now, as manager's diesel of the Bluesburg Steelworks, we're gonna need you to... And a rusty matchbox on wheels for a boss. Boy, you really need proper diesels around here. Bert greasily chirped. Why, you? All right, said Phoebe coolly. Now that we've gotten to know each other, let's get to work. Diesel, dockyard deliveries. Ari and Bert, you're working the pier. And she confidently went back to the steelwork shed to work. The diesels did prove to help out a little bit, but many problems soon arose with their presence. They shoved trains into the wrong sidings, took any chance they got to make fun of or play tricks on Ralph and Tracy, and Diesel would bump Thomas or take the right away from him. Altogether, the three engines were gradually getting fed up with the diesel's trickery. Phoebe, on the other hand, wasn't particularly bothered. No matter what prank she got, she took it all in stride. Thank you for arranging my freight cars, Ari, she said to him after getting bumped with freight cars. I really needed the washdown, Bert, she said when shunted while taking on water. Your brakes need checking, she said when bumped by Diesel. All in all, the freight engine was proving to be very tough to break. And Diesel and his cronies were more determined than ever to push her to the edge. Next morning, Thomas and Phoebe were sent to Selgrib City with a heavy freight train. They were to be transferred to another train heading out for Pennsylvania in the afternoon. Make sure to mind yourselves while we're gone, puffed Phoebe, and mind yourselves if you have to go through Bluesburg West! Huh, said Diesel. We can handle that yard easily. And determined to prove they were capable, he requested that he, Ari, and Bert be coupled to the next train and heading out through there. There's a 12 o'clock express to go to Folston, but you'd better watch out there. It'll be rush hour. But the Diesels weren't thinking or listening. They were too busy thinking how clever they were to realize what they were getting themselves into. Nor had they been paying attention to the freight cars in the yard. Who are they to boss us around? Punting us like footballs around me gods. This is Phoebe's yard and Ralph's too. Let's teach him a lesson, boys. The Diesels were soon on their way with their heavy freight train. Although advised by the conductor to take at the very least a transfer caboose, they chose to take it as a triple header. The Diesels on the other railways have no trouble hauling it all at the front with no van, so why should we worry? But they had forgotten that Diesels on the other railway have special devices to minimize the usage of brake vans and cabooses. 
Bluesburg West is a very dangerous yard for a careless engine. There's few signals located throughout it, and engines must take care and pay close attention when entering or exiting the yards. Engines must always be prepared to give off four short whistles to alert the signalman in the control tower that they are there. But Diesel and the twins hadn't bothered to remember. They just hurried through the tunnel to the junction. The car's chance had come. On! 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 They yelled, and with a mighty shove, the cars took the diesels by surprise and surged the speeding engines into the junction. The signalmen were shocked and put in a full-on panic, frantically trying to avoid a collision. Two mainland diesels nearly hit them at the entrance, they almost hit Callie at an intersection, and Douglas nearly lost his tender. Phew, said Diesel, we're home free now. But they weren't. They hadn't accounted for Alea, a little shunting engine who was pushing a line of freight cars to go to Guapan Harbor. She was entering the main line. Oh no! Screamed Diesel as he shut his brakes hard on. Then, disaster struck. Diesel was on his side next to the crash, dazed, confused, and bruised. Some of Alea's cars had been thrown right off the track, and with Ari and Bert derailed on the switch, no one from the main line could get into the junction. Hang on! shouted Alea. I'll fetch a crane and send for a few others! By the time the mess was cleared, Phoebe and Thomas were returning from their big run. Phoebe was a little bit entertained from the debacle. Well, 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 three diesels too big for their buffers couldn't manage steel cars, eh? Diesel was fuming. Well, if you treat wagons and engines like that, then it's gonna bite you in the tail lamp, she said firmly. Right, shall we try and haul these cars to the yards? If it helps a bit, said a tired but still willing Thomas. It took some time to tidy up the mess, but soon everything was put right again, and Thomas and Phoebe hauled away the wagons to Faustin. What about Diesel, Larry, and Bert? Well, it wasn't long before the Culver works set them back up and running again. But they don't mess with steel cars anymore, because they know they'll try to bite back.